Hello and welcome to Acceleration. We're here for the Health Coach Accelerator. And the first lesson we're gonna do is talk about the workflow on new client onboarding. So whenever you're logged into your account and you click on workflows, you're gonna find the existing workflow for the new client onboarding. These are all the steps that your new customer is gonna get once they get the tag of onboard. So I wanna show you exactly how that's set up. So if you click on workflows over here on the left, and then you're going to click again on workflow from new client onboarding. This is then going to load for you. This is the screen that is going to show you all the different messages and everything that happens in that workflow. So at the very top, this is the trigger. This will show you what is going to trigger this workflow. It's already set up for you. So you don't have to have anything else in here, but I just want to show you how this is set up. So right here, we're saying the contact tag and in filter, we have a tag added is onboard. So if you wanted to make a workflow in the future, you could say anything like if a tag is do not disturb or scheduled, you can create your own tag and your own workflow. And anything that triggers this workflow would be added right here. You can also add multiple triggers, meaning you could say if the contact tag is onboard or if someone fills out this specific form, then do all these things here. But for the sake of this, let's just keep it the same way. So the contact tag is on board. If you want to go and change any of those messages, you're simply going to click on these different message box and you have a WYSIWYG editor right here, which stands for what you see is what you get. So you can go through and you can edit these messages to your heart's content. You can add in some personalization if you wanted to. So you can see where it says contact first name under custom values and contact. You can see all the options that you can pull here into the messages. And you can simply just go through here and edit those messages just like this. And as you start getting people in here, you can see again on the, the test I did earlier today, there's a little icon of a person with the number one. And if I click that, that shows me that I'm actively in this step. That means tomorrow I'm gonna get this message, but right now I'm in the waiting period because we're waiting one day. So it's really easy just to click and see who's in that step. And then on the messages, you can click on the statistics tab. And that way you can actually see how many were delivered, how many were clicked, and how many failed. And you can view details for each one. Under each of these little wait areas that are orange, if you wanted to make it longer or shorter than a day, you can click on wait. And this is where you can change it to minutes, hours, or days. Uh, these are a little more advanced. We won't cover these for this session. Uh, but there are some individual things that you can do. This one, we all, we will go through. This is a little more advanced. This one's kind of medium, but it's pretty easy. So you can say advanced Wednesday, window. I only want to send this message during these days, during these times. So you can get really specific. I typically create it very simple where it's the same for everyone. So if someone enrolls, they automatically start getting these. And everyone waits a certain amount of time and gets to the next. And you can see down here, we've got all the way to day nine. You can go through here, edit any of these that you want, and make sure when you're done editing that you hit the save button up here. If you make a change, it'll turn green. You can hit save, make sure it's switched to published, and you're good to go. If you want to test the workflow to see how it works, you can just hit the test workflow button here, um, put your name in here, or select a contact you'd like to test it with, and it will take you through there. Once you start running this as well, you're able to up here see on settings, you have a couple options here. You can say any time this workflow can run. What this means is if someone is on here at one in the morning and they turn it on, they're gonna get a message at one in the morning. I like to keep it usually at specific times. So if you wanna say from eight to five um, every day of the week, that's a little bit safer bet, or you can choose any time. The sender address and email, by default, whoever is logged in at the time it is, is creating this trigger. Um, it's going to come from your name and your email. If you want this to come from something general, like hello at or info at, if you're sending an email, or just from a different name, you can put it in here. Allow multiple means if you're onboarding someone twice, they will get these messages twice. Typically, we turn this off because we only want people to go through the sequence once, but you can allow multiple. You can also do stop on response. For the onboarding sequence, I don't recommend stop on response. If you did have a workflow in the future and someone responded to it, that breaks the chain where they won't get any more messages because now you're in a real conversation with them. You can also have it mark, auto mark as read. What this means is when you're logged into Genie Rocket, you'll have your own inbox with unread messages. If you don't want this to show up as an unread message when you send it, you can say auto mark as read. 
And then if you did want all of these to start on a very specific date, that's where you can choose a date. Don't do this for the onboarding message uh, because obviously this is going to be evergreen, meaning if we want to start this a week or in two weeks or in four months, we want to keep this blank. Once people start going through here, you'll be able to see a history tab. So this is an example when I went through it earlier today. You can see everything that happened. So at the very beginning here, I was added to a workflow and then I was sent the day one text message. So it was executed. And now it says I'm in the waiting period. So I'm waiting and the next step is going to be the next message. So tomorrow it's going to show me that I got sent another message. I can get the event details here. You can also get that execution log that just shows me all the details of everything. And then this is just the status. This will show you like one person per row of everyone that's in the workflow. And if it's completed, if it's about to begin, right now this one says waiting for time. And it says the next ex execution is gonna be tomorrow at 10.22 a.m. because I started this at 10.22 a.m. today. So that shows you next execution time. So that's really everything you need to know about workflows as it relates to onboarding. If you wanna do a little more advanced functionality, meaning if you wanna do more than just a text message, you can click this plus icon and you have an array of options over here on the right. So for example, if I wanted to start it with an email instead of a text, I can choose send email. And just like a text, I can then go through and put in here all this information, the from name. So this is gonna be your name, your email, the subject of your email. You can personalize these too. So if I click this little X button right here, I can say contact first name and I might say first name Welcome aboard, craft my message, and when I hit save, it's going to automatically add it right here, and then I can choose if I want to have a wait time in between it by simply clicking the plus button, scrolling all the way to the bottom, and we're going to say wait, and that's where you can choose if it's going to be a minute, an hour, or a day. Um, how you actually activate this then is you've got this step one that we talked about. You can just give someone the tag of onboard, so let me show you how you quickly do that. We're not going to save any of these changes in here. So I'm going to go back to contacts. And select this contact here. So there's a couple ways to do it. You can actually just click the checkbox next to a person's name. And if you have multiple people, you can do that. And then you simply click this button up here, add a tag. It's a little tag icon with the plus sign. We're going to click add tag. We're going to type the word onboard. You can see it's already in here. So I'm going to click on that hit add tag and boom, that did it. So now that tag is added. So that's one way to add it. You can also do it where you just click into the person's name, scroll to the bottom where it says tags, just start typing that word on board and you will have add that tag and that starts the workflow. The other way to do it is if you have a grouping of people, several people you wanna enroll at once, you can select those people or one off you're going to click this robot head where it says add to campaign slash workflow. Select that. Click OK. We're then going to select the new client onboarding. We're going to do a note here that just says onboarding sequence. This is just for reporting later. No one's going to see this. And you can choose if you want to start this all at once, all at a schedule time, or add in drip mode. Add, it at a, add all at a schedule time is if we say we don't want people to start this onboarding until tomorrow at this date at this time and it's going to start everyone at that date and time or you can add in drip mode which is simply going to start um, sending if you have like thousands of people you're trying to enroll this just does it in batches so we can say we want to do a batch quantity of 500 people at a time um, it's going to start at this date and at this date i wouldn't worry about this one too much we don't use it that often but if you have lots and lots of contacts or onboarding at once you can go through this process and it just drips out that content over time, which means from a workflow, it's just going to start that workflow um, over time in drip mode. But I recommend doing it all at once. So that's it for lesson one in the Health Coach Accelerator program. We've gone through how to edit workflows, how to add items in workflows, and how to enroll your contacts in workflows. If you get stuck or need any help, make sure to click on the chat button inside of Genie Rocket. We've got a great team there ready to help so you can put this thing to use. See you guys next time on the next lesson.